Marvin Wiley, Words to Empower. Words to Empower, Marvin Wiley. I can't do it. It will never happen. I can't speak. The words that we say to ourselves on a daily basis holds tremendous power. If the wrong words are spoken, it can damage your beliefs. It can damage your courage. It can damage your vision. What words do you say to yourself? The year was 1999. I was in the fifth grade. I had an idea. I wanted to run for the class president. I wanted to do something significant. But there was a problem. I didn't believe that I could speak. I knew that if I walked up to somebody one-on-one -on -one or within a group, talking to someone on the phone or ordering my food at a restaurant, I would more likely stutter. Often, I would stutter a lot. Little did I know that to run for the class president, you can't just type up a little message, have it placed in a pamphlet, distribute it throughout the entire school. No, you had to write a speech and deliver that speech to the entire school through the intercom system. Instantly, I knew I was destined to lose. All the other candidates were much more eloquent than I was. But regardless of my doubts, something within me led me to do it anyway. I wrote out my speech trying to convince my class why they should vote for me for the class president. And the day came for me to deliver my speech. And I fell on my face. Afterwards, some people asked me, Marvin, were you okay? It sounded like you were crying. What was the matter? I said, yeah, I was just having a challenging time. My why became, if I can't speak, then why try? Why is like the window holding yearning, arriving at the point to where you're no longer content with the status quo and you yearn for more, not seeing yourself as you are, but as the person you aspire to become. Over a decade had passed and I developed a concrete habit of speaking avoidance. Until I went back to college in 2012 and I decided to major in business administration. But one thing I didn't do was take a look at the curriculum to find out what was included within that degree. Upon speaking with my advisor, I looked at the classes I would need to take, a public speaking class. There's no way in the world I could take a public speaking class. I won't be able to sit in the back of the classroom blend in and say nothing, I would have to speak. But something within me led me to do it anyway. I watched my other classmates walk them into the front of the class and eloquently deliver their message. It looked so simple. I thought, I think I can do it, but I'm, but I'm not really sure. Perhaps I should talk about something I know a lot about, which is golf. I'll explain why there are 13 clubs in the golf bag. I wrote up my outline explaining why there are 13 clubs in the golf bag. And the day came for me to deliver my speech. And I fell on my face again. I sat down feeling defeated. There's no way they could possibly know why there are 13 clubs in the golf bag, unless they already knew about golf. I didn't get out one fourth of my four minute speech. Nothing positive could ever be said about what they had seen. But I was wrong. When I sat down, my classmates, my professor, they didn't laugh at the fact that I stuttered. They said they admired the courage I had to get up in front knowing I stuttered and do my very best. 
Many classmates said they felt more inspired to give their own speech after hearing mine. My perspective began to shift. I started using more empowering words that would lead me out of the habit of speaking avoidance. Instead of saying, I can't do it, I would say I can. Instead of saying it'll never happen, I would ask, how can I make it happen? Instead of saying, I can't speak, I would say, I can speak. I began recording myself to get an idea of my speaking patterns. But years later, I kind of wish I didn't do that because I ended up counting about 90 ums and ahs within my five minute speech. <laughs> But it was okay at that time because there's no all counter grammarian. <laughs> little by little, I began to improve. After finishing the public speaking class, I joined Toastmasters and found another encouraging and supportive environment. I also learned all about the all counter and grammarian. So now I, I don't even want to hear another um and ah ever again. <laughs> My speaking avoidance was replaced with a new version of myself. What words do you say to yourself? As you peer through your window, holding your yearning desires, what do you see? And remember, it's amazing what you can achieve on the other side of your fears. Toastmaster.